the orientation of linear structures on a plane can be measured as a pitch. Linear structures could be structures like slick and sides on a fault plane or the crest of ripple marks on a bedding plane. Pitch is the angle between the horizontal line and a line in the plane of measurement. In this video clip, we're showing how to measure the pitch of a line or a lineation on a surface. The white line on this surface represents the linear structure we're measuring. The first thing is to get a horizontal reference line. The compass clinometer will be used as a clinometer, so place 270 and 90 next to the two luminous marks. Place the compass clinometer on the surface, making sure that the plane of the compass clinometer is vertical. Shuffle it around until the clinometer reads zero. On the surface, mark a line along the edge of the compass clinometer. The line you draw is the horizontal reference line, and it's also the strike of the plane. The pitch is the angle between your horizontal reference line on the plane and the linear structure. We need to know the orientation of the plane that the linear structure lies on. Place the compass clinometer along the horizontal line. Keep the plane of the compass clinometer horizontal and rotate the base plate until the north needle corresponds to the arrow on the base plate. Read off the measurement. In this case, it's 066 degrees. Record the measurement in your field notebook. Remember, the dip direction is at 90 degrees to the strike and I've drawn the dip direction on the surface as a reminder. Now measure the dip of the plane. Place the compass clinometer on the plane at right angles to the horizontal line which shows the strike of the plane. Make sure that the plane of the compass clinometer is vertical. Shuffle it round and then read off the value shown by the clinometer needle. In this case, it's 54 degrees. Record this reading after the strike reading in your field notebook. The plane is generally dipping in this direction, which is to the south. In your field notebook, record this direction after the dip reading. Now we need to use a protractor to measure the angle of pitch. On the protractor, there is a baseline and an origin. Place the baseline of the protractor along the horizontal line. Put the origin of the protractor where the horizontal line intersects the linear structure. Measure around from the horizontal. In this case, the angle of pitch is 34 degrees. Record this measurement in your field notebook. Do this by drawing a line to show the horizontal and an arrow to show the pitch. Show the angle of the pitch here, which is 34 degrees. And record here the reference direction, which in this case is the southeast. Your field notebook now records the dip and strike of the plane and the pitch of that linear structure in the plane. 